Good morning, Michael Blizzman from Hughes Solutions. Welcome to my world in one take. I'm gonna skip right to leadership moments today. I, I thought this was a great perspective that I was reading. And it says, uh, seek out like relationships with people who are above you in some area that we have something to aspire to, let's say. Uh, people who are at your level that way you've got camaraderie and acceptance, and that's a great thing. You know, it kind of keeps you, uh, you know, connected. And then also people who are like lower than you in some area of life, um, you know, whether that be work experience or what have you. Not, nobody's above or, you know, below anybody as a person, but in every discipline, you know, there, there are, there is a ranking. Um, so, you know, having those relationships with people who are above, at, and below your level, it kind of gives you the opportunity to, you know, be mentored, to learn something, to aspire. It gives you a chance to have camaraderie and experience that with your people. And then also at a lower level, it gives you the chance to train somebody up and kind of mentor them. It's, and by doing all three of those things, it really helps. And, you know, sometimes the, it can be as simple as just talking to somebody and saying, hey, John, I don't really know how to handle a situation. I'd like to get your input. You got a minute? Just doing that in any direction, whether it's your supervisor or somebody who reports to you, you know, you can make that new person feel like they're valuable because they have a fresh perspective. You can make your supervisor uh, see that you're thoughtful and trying, and it gives him a chance to really shine and share some of his experience. So it's really great on all those levels. So that's just something I'd invite you to do uh, from a leadership perspective to try to keep people engaged. Uh, what I'll say is this, um, people want to be engaged they want to be heard, seen, valued, and they really want to help. They also really want to be a part of something that is bigger than their own, you know, little job that they're doing. They want to see the vision and be a part of something bigger. So, you know, giving that opportunity in any way, that's that that's how you keep a a, a team growing and learning and excelling over time. That's how you retain good people. Um, the people who don't fit, we'll find the door in a, in a dynamic organization. So that would be that one, the leadership moment. Now back to motivation, something to keep in perspective. You know, you have only so much uh, time and attention. I brought that up yesterday. Um, time's a, renew, un, a non-renewable resource as well. So really be diligent with how you're spending your time. You can change the world today. You could reach a million people and, or even just your little customer base and change their world in massive ways. Or you can play on your phone, but you cannot do both. So choose how you spend your time deliberately. And that's, you know, that's what I would invite people to do. We're in a world of distraction right now. Uh, everything's just tapping at us saying, look at me, look at me, look at me. And you know, it's your job. To, to filter that out. Um, and that's how you're gonna do really great things if you're so inclined. Um, so with that, I'm gonna just say, oh, thank you for everybody. Um, there's a link down below with uh, the LinkedIn profile of my, one of my favorite clients, Go Transit LLC. Um, they are uh, great at what they do. Thank you for everybody who followed it. Please, you know, sign up and follow that link if you just just to help me out. It would be great because I'd love to get the awareness of this company out to even more people. But thank you for everybody who already did. It means a lot. Um, and with that, it's time to get off your phone and get to work. Have a great day.